Many tourists consider the local waffles a cultural highlight worth traveling for. While the people of Brussels love their fun taste treats, it's also a city of sophisticates. As the unofficial capital of Europe, the place is cosmopolitan and hosts businessmen from around the world. Though Brussels, like Belgium, is officially bilingual, most of the people here speak French first. Bon up on bonjour and s'il vous plaît. Brussels is the political nerve center of the United Europe. Only Washington, D.C. has more lobbyists. When Europeans have a gripe, this is where they demonstrate. And the most impressive part of the city skyline these days is the glassy headquarters of the European Parliament. Europe's governing body now welcomes visitors. This busy symbol of European unity is filled with a cacophony of politicians speaking the full range of European languages. Visitors listen to a political science lesson while viewing the chambers where the members of the Euro Parliament sit. Today, hundreds of Parliament members representing an entire continent are hard at work shaping Europe's future. For centuries, Europe's cultural and political differences have led to war. Today's daunting challenge, to respect these differences while building a democratic, prosperous and peaceful Europe. And a fun part of travel today is watching this story unfold.